Hi, my name is Lloyd from electricsense.com. Here are 12 brief tips on how you can best protect you and your family from cell phone radiation. So number one, don't allow children to use a cell phone for calling. This is at the top of my list because it's so important. Studies show the developing organs of a child lower bone density of the skull, uh, lower body weight, and less effective blood-brain barrier make children particularly vulnerable to the effects of cell phone radiation. Children should only use a cell phone for absolute dire emergencies. Number two, only make calls that are absolutely necessary. Studies tell us that the adverse biological effects of cell phone use are directly related to the duration of exposure. Keep the length of these calls to a minimum. Number three, when dining out, don't put your cell phone next to your ear until your correspondent has picked up the communication. Your cell phone communicates at full power when it's connecting to a number. Hold your phone away from your body until you've finished dialing and put it to your ear when your correspondent answers. When receiving a, an incoming call, give yourself a second or two before putting the phone next to your head once you've accepted the call. Number four, avoid carrying your cell phone directly on your body. Even on standby, your cell phone communicates at full power with the nearest cell phone tower regularly to ensure it, it has the best signal. If you're in a poor signal area, it may transmit every 30 seconds to try and get a better signal. If you do have to keep your cell phone next to your body, keep it away from your major organs. Many uh, cell phones now have GPS incorporated which periodically transmit to update their position, even when switched off. So it's better to avoid carrying your phone on your body, but if you do have to, it's better to use uh, flight mode or airplane mode. Number five, only use your cell phone in conditions of optimum reception. There's no industry standard on the meaning of the signal bars on your uh, on cell phones. Some phones can ramp up their emissions 1,000 fold in areas where the signal is poor. This means that for each uh, signal bar that is missing, your exposure increases several hundred times. So you're best advised to only telephone when all the signal bars are showing. Use it outside or near a window as much as possible and avoid using your cell phone in a basement, underground station or, or elevator. Number six, never use your cell phone when in a moving vehicle. In a moving vehicle, the cell phone antenna is constantly scanning to uh, maintain contact with the nearest cell tower and therefore working at maximum signal strength, which means your potential radiation exposure is increased. Number seven, don't use your cell phone in a parked car. The radiation from your cell phone is reflected back by the car's metallic structure. It's called the, uh, the Faraday cage effect this radiation from your phone can bounce around in your car and be absorbed by your body at a higher level than otherwise would be the case. Number eight, use uh, an air tube headset for normal phone use. As a rule of thumb, signal strength falls off in proportion to the square of the distance to the source. So if you hold, if you double the distance to the source, as to say your, your cell phone to your uh, to your head, your potential exposure would be four times less since two squared is four. Air tube headsets are comprised of a part wired cable and part air tube. This uh, air tube component converts the electrical signal into less harmful airwaves. An air tube type hands free kit can reduce your radiation exposure significantly and is much safer than Bluetooth. Speakerphone mode also enables you to hold the phone away from your body when you use it. The downside is that it makes the battery work harder, therefore increasing magnetic radiation levels. Uh, number nine, never sleep with a cell phone switched on at night beside your bed. Studies show that cell phone radiation 
and other uh, electromagnetic field exposures at night can interrupt sleep cycles and contribute to a host of ailments like irritation uh, of allergies, heart palpitations, muscle pain uh, and weakness, and daytime uh, irritability. These exposures can impede the function of the immune system, reduce the production of melatonin and other hormones, and can have serious long-term adverse uh, consequences. Never bring your cell phone into your bedroom. Number 10, avoid using your cell phone if you're feeling run down. The radiation can make you feel even more tired and weaken your organism further. The elderly and pregnant women should be heavily discouraged from using a cell phone. Studies show the embryo and fetus are not conducive to microwave radiation exposures. Number 11, don't think that a low SAR cell phone is a safe cell phone. <clears throat> SAR means specific absorption rate, which is the industry measure of microwave radiation absorbed by the human body tissue uh, from using a cell phone. It's good to know that the, the SAR is what it is of your cell phone, but don't make the mistake of thinking a low SAR cell phone is a safe cell phone. A high SAR cell phone can be very efficient and normally work at lower power, whereas a low SAR phone can be inefficient and normally have to work at higher power and thereby expose you to higher levels of radiation. Number 12, text don't talk. Texting also exposes your body to cell phone radiation, but there are two advantages. The duration of exposure is generally less and it allows you to use your cell phone further away from your body. When you press uh, send, make sure you hold your cell phone away from your body. Those are my uh, 12 tips on reducing your exposure to cell phone radiation. Thank you for your time.